Hello everybody, Minus Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever. In the last episode, we finished up building out our line uh, from Insomnia to Valroyo and got the train uh, modified to head out in that direction. And then we began working on a new passenger line that is going to run from Insomnia out to Lake Armstrong to be part of the first leg of a new long passenger route. So, we worked on that. I had to, you know, get this bridge to cooperate, and, um, yeah. We got all the way out to here, and we got this bridge built in, and that's primarily where we stopped. We also worked on converting some of our old bridges to newer bridges, though I don't think I got to all of them. I certainly did not. So if we look at our... Uh, where is it? No, it's not this. It's over here. Our speed overlays. We have a significant drop in speed as we head over that bridge. So that bridge has got to go. I've been replacing it with this style of bridge. Oh, and I ended up putting electric on there. I don't want that. There we go. We're not quite ready for the electric revolution yet in our passenger trains. We've just started getting to um, diesel on our freight, so... And this bridge? Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of that bridge. This is a big, long downhill segment. We want our trains to pick up some good speed. We don't want them limited to 75 miles an hour. Not even a million. Well, for one side of it, anyway. Alright. There we are. Now, let's get back to what we want to do for the day. Which is work on this. And get this out to Lake Armstrong. Now the plan was to kind of come through this valley a little bit and then get through here. Then we're going to have to punch a tunnel through these ridges and then pop out the other side and get ready to head into Lake Armstrong. And then we're going to have to figure out if we're going to Osgiliath or if we're going to Vice City. I'm thinking Vice City. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna have a station somewhere. This is this is gonna be a challenging place to build a station. Alright, but we have a ways to go to get there. So let's go ahead and let's uh, start laying some track. Okay, that's actually coming downhill. Let's see, we want to head that direction. So we are going to want to kind of come through here. Sort of like this. Look at some contours in there. Uh, 
Yeah, that's that's kind of what we're after there. That's a sizable piece of viaduct. Now for this line, we're going with this stone brick. No, not that one. This one. Alright, so that's in there. That is going to be a scenic piece of track. All right. So would we just come straight through here? I think so. Just come straight. And then we're going to need to start Swinging in this direction. I think that's about as far as I'm going to want to come before I start, you know, laying some tunnel. Well, and before I have a station to actually aim for as we emerge from that tunnel and come into here. All right, so, stations. Two tracks, okay. Unable to align terrain. Unable to align terrain. Unable to align terrain. Something like that is kind of what I'm after. Where is the residential area, by the way? It's right there. Okay. And that station will cover the entirety. The entirety of it. Now, we just need to get some extra fill in there. And then I think we can accomplish that. Alright, I'm gonna try the smoothing tool first. Because that should raise the terrain without being too severe. Still can't align terrain. Now, well, see, I am going to want to do that. I'm just going to knock down all those buildings. And that's going to gouge pretty severely into that. I may need to actually um, curve this slightly. Still has to get sorted. All right. What I'm probably just going to have to do is raise the terrain. And that will work. 
and then come back in here with the smoothing tool and clean it up a little bit. And there we are. Okay, so let's see what happens if I try to just run that connection through. Big long tunnel as anticipated. A little bit of bridge and then a little bit of another tunnel. I'll take it. Sold. All right. Einheitswagen. Einheitswagen. Okay. There we are. So you run up here, you're gonna go into this tunnel, and you're gonna emerge from the tunnel. Have this nice scenic overlook of the of the sound or whatever you're gonna call that. And then uh into tunnel then emerge into town. Yes, I think that would be perfect. Alright, there is a quarry there. And then for the rest of this way, there's a lot of mountain there. Is there a way that I could potentially not just make all of it tunnel? That is way more tunnel than I want to do. Let's see, do I have any alternatives? So I'm going to merge there. We're going to have to do some tunnel somewhere. It just is. Probably knock out that road. But even if I were to emerge from there, I would still have to go into tunnel somewhere there. So what I really want to do is get out there without doing tunnel the whole way. I don't know if it's going to work. Well, tunnel out to there I think we can do. So let's go ahead and put that in. Oh. That's right, I need to get rid of that road. Uh, no, it's not country road. I want to do medium streets. Can I get a bridge out of that? Let's see, can I get a bridge out of this? 
No. Can I get a tunnel out of it? No. Sure, I can't get a bridge out of that. All right. Plan B. Too much slope. Getting too much slope on this. On that, that's giving me too much slope. Okay. See, the thing is also we're going to have the second track coming through there. You know, I don't really want to do this, but... They'll rebuild it. Could never even happened. Nope. I did not just demolish half the city. All right. Good enough. All right. It'll build back in. Now we have our second piece of tunnel. Again, I want to know where the station's going to be that we're going to aim to connect to. It's probably going to be up here, and we're going to eventually try to have a bridge that's going to swing around this direction. So let's see what we can do here.
connecting the station there. Let's see, if we curve that, it's not gonna let us align the terrain. Get rid of that. It'll let us align terrain back there. If we keep it straight, we can do it. All right, we'll do it and then we'll figure it out from here. And this city is gonna need a tram in order to make this work. Let's see, could I potentially put in the tram station like, like here? No, it would need to be there. It would need to be there. Alright, I think that might be doable. Tram line in there. And I think we only would really need one other set of stops. Right there. Point to point tram. We'll probably have to upgrade that at some point. go with that color. And this is the uh, tram of uh, Vice City. And then Tram Depot. Looks like I got a little extra character in there. Get rid of that. Probably shouldn't have put the tram on there already. That's all right. All right, let's see if we just decided to hook that up straight. What are we looking at? A viaduct coming down the hill. A little bit of tunnel, a little bit of bridge. I keep clicking that wrong button there. You know what? We'll take it. to get diamonds in there. I don't think we need it at Lake Armstrong, but I may be able to get one in here. A short one. Two, 
too much slope, but it'll do it that way. All right, fine. And I can probably squeeze one in there. Yes. And we don't need one there. Okay. So. A passenger train line from there. Insomnia. This is going to be a long line. To Lake Armstrong. Bye city. Oh, we haven't put any signals, so yeah, it's it's gonna not want to do this right. All right, train passenger. Um, insomnia to. Lar like Armstrong to. By city. That works. Let's get those signals on there. Start at this end. I'm going to make those some electronic signals there. And there's our autosave. Alright. And then I guess we'll do station approach right there. Station approach here. Signal through there. Set of signals there. And then right here. All right, let's take a look at that line just to make sure that we are working correctly. Like Armstrong, we're going to need the returning train to use Terminal 1, and everything else should be fine. All right. Now, a depot. We're going to want it. Probably here. What I'm going to do... Is because I can is run a line like that. Alright, we got a couple of uh, trains there. 
I don't think we're going to use them, but... A couple multi-units. Alright, let's figure out what we're going to put on there. We did just get these. They are... Are they diesel? They are, in fact, diesel. 33 passenger, 40 passenger, and 47 passenger trains. They do 99 miles an hour. 2,000 horsepower. They cost 7 million apiece. That could be interesting. Let's see, do we have anything steam? I think that's faster and has more horsepower. That's faster and has a lot more horsepower. But it's a lot more expensive for just the lo just a locomotive. You know what? I don't think I've used these before, so let's give it a whirl. 99 miles an hour is pretty good. And um Horsepower's not great. So I don't know how well this is going to do. But let's buy a couple of them. And uh, let's throw them on there. 156 yards. It'll fit. Please don't crash my game. So, yeah, we are at the end of the episode here, but in order to get this train on there. Oh, what in the world was that? Oh, this level crossing here. Seven, sixty-eight, seventy. Seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two. Something with a bit more power. I think we might be able to get up to some higher speeds. But for the initial, the initial trains that are on this line, we'll see what it does.
All right. When it arrives there. Pause. Set it to that line. All right. So there we go. Brand new passenger line. And a train that might work. We'll see. All right, we have our first passenger on that line. So, we'll end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.